Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. I'm running a bit late, but as you can hear, we got some super heavy music on today. Um, I was pulling out the uh, Straight Edge Vegan Hardcore bands from a hardcore list yesterday, and I pulled out some of these bands just to see what they were. I was like, Jesus Christ, when did I add this to the list? Some of these bands today are crazy heavy, uh, and I just thought, man, I want to hear those tomorrow. So I've pulled them straight out the queue. We've got four bands to check out. Uh, this first band up is the one that really caught my ear when I heard it in the queue, and I was like, damn, I didn't realize I'd added that one in. Uh, this is a band called Happiness Isn't Possible. The track's called What's Your Favorite Scary Movie? They've only got one subscriber on their YouTube. God knows how that happens. This one came out in November. But this track's a long one. It's 7.33. And because we've got four bands, we're going to be a long one today. But I'll tell you, it's going to be worth every second. So let's check this out. This one sounds great.
real deepness to this mix. at the end I was kind of hoping we were going to go back to some heavy stuff oh there you go that was friggin superb Jesus Christ amazing I did kind of hope we were going to go back to some heavy stuff though I think that would have worked out nice it would have been like a nine minute track at that point but I just sat there for it the whole time. Uh, but yeah, nice to have a track in two sections. Ridiculous, heavy, drawn out, and then did pump some energy into the track, which was nice. I think if it was all drawn out, you know, it would have been less fun than when they brought in some nice beats to it as well, and a bit of faster pace. So I thought I was really like that. The sounds of the guitars, the depth of the mix, everything was just crazy nice. Loved it. The vocal, excellent. As good as vocal gets, in my opinion. I loved everything he did with his throat. He worked his throat in a bunch of different ways. There's a passion, there's an emotion uh, behind his vocal as well. Super great. And then broke us into that electronic, industrially atmospheric outro which sounded very cool with some very cool sounds in there but man geez this band seriously kick ass happiness isn't possible now i don't know what's going on here they're on good luck charm records who's got one subscriber which must be me because i'm subscribed to them um so get over to this channel and check this band out i haven't even got any more information about it i think they've got a band camp that's it they've got a three track album on there oh they've got some other albums on there but they've got no facebook or instagram or anything like that or if they have they've not got links to them so i can't tell you anything more about this band but man we need to get this band on the channel more because that was the sickest i absolutely friggin loved it and when i was pulling that out of the queue and caught my ear on it for a few seconds i thought man that reminds me of leached uh, that's that's their kind of sound, the deepness, the nastiness, just the pure 
power of the guitars. And I've had this Leech live uh, performance in the queue for a while, so I thought, well, sod it, we'll throw this in the queue today as well. Let's check out some Leeched in 2021. Um, so we're just going to listen to a few minutes of this. This is their Nothing Will Grow From The Rotten Ground live. Uh, so yeah, let's blast out to these guys as well. These guys are orange out, out to the max. They are on record, which is maximum fatness. stop it there we can go in a few minutes and we've got a few more bands to check out but yeah that first band that was a more energetic track of leech some of their other ones are a bit more slow and drawn out like that first track it reminded me but it's that tone it's that dark nasty orange amp tone uh that's just got a thickness it's got a depth to it a fatness a grizzle and grind i mean the orange tone really is nice but it only works great for certain types of music. Uh, it's not a great thrash amp or something like that, you know? Um, so if you're doing deep and dirty music, the Orange, I'm pretty sure, is the way to go. Sick. This next band sounds sick as well. All these bands that I've pulled out today are like, whoa, these sound great. This is Machinist. The track is called The Nail. So let's spin this one.
doing well today i knew when i was pulling these bands out of the queue today that i was like this is going to be a good day because this is the kind of music i don't even really know how to quite describe this music super heavy hardcore is what comes to mind but that really doesn't do the best job of explaining it all because it's got kind of sludgy elements doomy elements in it uh, it's kind of just big and nasty uh, it doesn't necessarily have to have all that much hardcore in it, but man, it's just so heavy. It's just like the heaviest music there is. We're going to finish off with this last band. This is Wheelful. The track's called Sex Oblivion Sex. This is an official video, so let's finish off with this one. But if you've got photo sensitive, watch out. <laughs> All the mixes have been fat, wide, and loud. Common in your ears.
This one's interesting, man. It's got this real vibe to it. Man, that's four for four. Sick. That was a great track, quite different as well. Repetitious, kind of building and repetitious over and over and then throw you into another loop. Really sick, great atmospheric sounds in there as well. Uh, really had a cool vibe to it and a different, a differentness to it, a uniqueness to it. Very, very cool, man. Well, there's four of the sickest bands you could check out, in my opinion. This sound, this heavy, dirty, oppressive sound that these kind of bands make, um, whether it be drawn out sections, but even parts with a bit more energy and blast beats and kind of grindiness to them as well. Uh, so you get a nice mixture of real drawn out and grindiness, but it's all just so oppressive and heavy, particularly in the guitar and bass tones, because like I say, they're normally using those big dirty orange amps, or if it's not that, it's some other big dirty amp, uh, with, the cr with the gain cranked up, the bass cranked up, so it's just got that horrible, grisly, breaking up, deep sound to it. Uh, and those orange amps have got a deep tone to them on top of that. It's, it seems like a lot of layers of noise on top of each other to create the tone. So it's got a depth to it. Uh, and when you've got a couple of guitarists with that and a bassist with a big grisly tone as well, you get a real depth of distortion. It feels like a big black hole of nasty distortion. Um, so yeah, these bands I really friggin' love. But I've really got no idea what to call it, you know? Super heavy hardcore. There's got to be a better name for it than that because that really isn't a very good name. Um, so if you know a good name for this music, let me know. Uh, but I friggin' love it. It's now one of my favourite styles of music because it's heavy um, and it can be fast-paced as well, but it's just so oppressive and loud and all the mixes are super wide on a stereo that it's such a wall of sound hitting your ears um i just i just love the experience of listening to this music because it's just you know, it's absolutely oppressive music uh, whereas kind of brutal death can be very oppressive as well but in a more punching and pounding way just like being pounded by mike tyson into the ground this is just kind of like drowning in quicksand where it's just all over you from all directions, smothering you. Uh, you know, it's a different kind of smothering, heavy sound. Sick. All the bands today, absolutely dope. I'm going to try and get all these bands back on the channel again throughout the year because I've loved every single one of them. I hope you've enjoyed them as well. If you have, give us a like and all that garbage. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.